Hello folks and welcome back to Ravenport and yeah we're in March now the winter is over like that was a harsh winter experiencing the deep snow net not looking forward to it so but yeah so we've been a little bit busy in between the episodes so we've gone up by over 300 grand and that's because I have first of all chopped some trees down I have very large a2 Studio Trader and that into a log fork trader. Costed around about 1200 quid or so, 12 1500 quid. And yeah, it was actually quite nice now in terms of price. So we've gone and cut some trees down. Because we have a look. The prices of trees were actually very good for us. So, first of all, go to our woods. Yep, yeah, almost three grand. At the wood sand station. But after that first load, I thought also wood chips being more valuable, like yeah, thirteen hundreds. I think it was around a similar price in that as well. At yeah, Green Elevator, West and Ranch. So yeah, I thought chop get some wood chips in that down because you get more wood chips from a tree than you do in wood. So I thought yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. So we've done two loads of wood chips. And yeah, with that, we've earned a lot of money. And yeah, we're still going to sell the farming at. So let's go and get our fuel loaded up. And put our toolbox in. And yeah, I'll just show you. So if you look at our finances. Turns with income. Yeah, 353 grand from harvest income. So that is the wood chips and the wood. No, sorry, that's the wood chips. The wood itself, we got 14 grand from. So yeah, let's now start selling the farm. Because we're going to be moving elsewhere. But before I do that, I'll include a very short, about 10, 20 second clip of us taking care of all the wood. So yeah, it's literally like two trailer loads that we used to devour and a very cheap 45,000 year trailer so each time it costs us, I can't remember, it wasn't too much, about 50 grand in total it was to buy. And yep, just going to sell all of these, including the land. So, yep, part of the gold series is to dominate all the land. However, for the time being, I need to focus on us now in terms of getting a proper farm developed. So, yeah, we've got some fields we can purchase. So, what I'm going to do first of all is purchase 27 and plot 22. So, we get two decent sized fields. We've got 266 grand left over. Actually, what about the contract? So, get that one completed. And when we complete those two, that's additional four, 14 grand. So, that leave us with just shy off 300 grand. So, no, can't buy that. Can't buy that. That's a massive cliffside. Bit of a waste of space. Maybe start looking at more land up here net. So, yeah, I'm not fussed with comes to moving about yeah we could have saved up a bit and get that but yeah it wasn't worth it but yeah before we do that let's go head to the store let's get that closed up because yeah we've got some new equipment as well that's going to help us on our journey 
Insurance with progressing. And there we go as we come in honking away. So yeah, we've got some equipment, so we're gonna buy a proper trailer. We bought the lizard TARDIS medium. So yeah. Yeah, it's a cheap and efficient trailer. I wasn't gonna use similar trailers than that, but we need something a decent for now, so we're gonna use that for the time being. Next we got this from the second hand market, the Lemken Solitaire 12800. So yeah, that was 58% off it was, so overall not too bad. So yeah, we've got a new cedar in that. Also I'm going to get a new cultivator. I'm going to get a proper baiter and wrapper. And yep, yeah, got a proper trader in that as well now, so... Let's go and sell these. Always gets confused with that trigger point. So there we go. That's all that sold. And yeah, I think we have our plow up here, right? Actually, what? We're going to sell the plow. I'm not too fussed about getting an extra couple of quid from it. So yeah, we've got 330 grand. So let's go on a bit of a shopping spree. First of all, subsiders. Uh, no, not that one. It's under plows. There's a six meter one, and something I haven't used before, so fits within our purpose. So I'm gonna keep it yellow. What's that? A GCB yellow? Sure, why not? Eight grand for that. Next cultivator. So something I've used temporarily, but not all that often. So 7.4 meters, nine miles an hour. I'm going to upgrade to was it under disc arrows, I think it is, yeah, to case 490. So it's enough to deal with <coughs> tight lanes and that, can get away with it. Uh, let's go with a IQR yellow short, setups are not fast, cat 4, oh, I have no idea what that, all that is. Let's just stick with a trade for now, so that's going to cost us 10 grand. So yeah, 312 grand left over. Next we're going to need a roller, because I want to get some yield bonus up, so... We'll go with the front roller pack. And yeah, all the mods I'm using will be linked down below. Or at least the description. Or do we go something like these? Ooh. 240 for 11 meters. You know what? Let's stick with a 10 meter one. Now let's go with a, a Cambridge roller. So we'll purchase that. Next, we're going to need a mulcher net before we can do any drill in and that. So that's going to be over here. And please, I'll see I've got it installed. Uh, no, I haven't. Under Mulcher, it's got the Mulcher installed. So, yeah, the Lizard Katrina. Awesome mod. Yep, 9 meters, same as the other ones, but it's double the price, but it can do it at double the speed. Pretty much so. So, yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, I might as well go and just invest in all this equipment in that. Because this will set us up long term. Oh yeah, stone pickers, I'm not too worried about that, because all it does really is just about wear and tear on that. But yeah, overall, not too worried. So yeah, I'm at the dealership. The only thing we can do with now is possibly a second tractor on that. However, I am not in a rush for that, so let's get something on the second hand market. Really. Again, it's going to be around 180 to 200 horsepower mark. 70 grand for that. Not too bad. Actually, what was the one I was looking at? This one here. Oh, 7200 series, but 88 grand. So, that's going to be a no for now. Again, maybe. Ooh. Downside to that is, does it have a PTO shaft? So go to down here, accessories, 
Okay, he's got a three point attacher. Oh yeah, it has a P2 shaft there as well, so that is an option for us, but for now, I want to focus on getting the field sorted. So that means heading up. And for now, I'm gonna dump the front loader here. Because I got some lime, because I want to do some field extension and fill merging, maybe. Definitely extend the fields a bit. So yeah, I'm just looking at the PDA and yep, as much as it tends to be put merge all the fields together, I think our plan of action is gonna be get the crop candor up so we can plant now sunflowers, potatoes or that, nope. So yeah, I don't need to wait until April because I want to do corn and soybeans. They'll be ready at the same time. Corn not be used for corn drying because hopefully by then. Actually, oh wait a minute. How much is this worth? The corn dryer. I'll find the tr trigger for it. Do, 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 tr I cannot find. Oh, right here, so... Ooh, yeah. Let's save a hundred grand. Do we buy it now? No, nope, no. Nope. I'm not going to buy it now. But yeah, that's the thing also. Start getting to productions and that. Greenhouses. So much we can do. So, yeah. Let's go over here. But yeah, I'm not going to do field merging. However... What I'm going to do is the edge of these fields here. I'm going to extend them as close to the path as I can. Okay, that's got weeds in. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Because, yeah, how much land do we have here? So, how far down can we go? Actually, we can get all this. Wait a minute. And also, I'm thinking of getting the mulcher in that get some trees cut down because yeah it's only 25 grand but yeah just get the field widened yeah actually you know what let's go and do that got access to these two trees as well so yeah let's do that first of all so let's go to purchase our devour so it's under forestry equipment there we go, where is it to? Yep, that I'm happy with. Purchase for 25 grand, because remember, we cannot lease until August. So we are losing money with this, but it's a sneaky way around of the leasing rule. So yeah, just bear with me a sec. Here we are at the Green Ever West. We've got 80,000 litres of wood chips. Yeah, could have got like 82,000 litres. But you know what? I am happy with 80,000 years. Because, yeah, that's going to lead to. What's that about? Ooh, 80, 100 grand? So, 62 grand there. Not sure why it stopped. So, yeah, overall, I should know more than that. So, 110 grand. But, yeah, we do have a one stop to deal with, so. Let me just go take care of that by quickly purchasing a sub grinder. And then, yeah, we'll go purchase it, get some sorted, sell it. And then, at the same time, we'll sell this once we're done with sub grinding. So, where did I leave that stub to? Yeah, there we go. I marked it on the ground by just adjusting the paint texture. And actually, I've been thinking, we've got 300 grand now, we can't buy the other fields. First of all, let's get rid of this stump. There we go, come on. So yeah, I had issues with the devourer with this, because usually the devourer is good when it comes to this stuff, but... This? Ooh, looks like we're going to have a sticky stump to deal with. Well, it would actually help if you actually turned it on, like... Yeah, we had the front one on. Not, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, minor correction there, but yeah, so let's go and sell these. So yeah, I'm thinking, 
How much is this filled here? 304 grand does come with some excess areas, like certain areas that ain't gonna be fully utilizable. And yeah, we do not have the money for landscaping that because I would like to flatten all that out and just have like a sheer cliff face over here and that, but we didn't have that luxury. And also, we still need to put money on side for bathers and that. At the moment, yeah, it's going to be a while before we have any hay contracts or size contracts, so I'm not in a rush for that. But yeah, I still want to just leave that 100 grand reserve. Not just for that, but also for... Uh, what's it? Uh, uh, yeah, the corn dryer and that, so... But yeah, well, 350 grand. Things are looking up. I did say he was going to make progress, and to be honest, I was not expecting to progress as quickly. And yeah, we are going to take it back, because obviously we ain't going to do much more wood chipping, so... We do need to be smart with our money. I do have some contracts available, so except in another frozen contract, so... All in all, that's going to be about 32 grand extra income. But yeah, I'm going to spend a few minutes here. Actually, what? Uh, screw this, purchase that field. Yeah, let's go with three fields, why not? Because then it should leave us with enough. Actually, have we sold this field? Why can't we sell that? Hmm, that was the toolbox, so let's get rid of that. But yeah, just double checking. No flags, no nothing, so. Can we sell that piece of land now? So yeah, that's going to leave us with... 530 grand. So yeah, I'm going to purchase that. So we've gone from... Three small fields... To three big fields, and that's going to set us up. But yeah, definitely a second tractor should be our next purchase, and that. But for now... Let's spend a minute. Oh, that's a bright reflection. Because yes, I'm thinking... Oh, no, so that's a bit of on the slope. Maybe here and that, so... I want to put some police balls down. So yeah, things like sheds and that. Um, thanks to the Red Barn Pack. So yeah, I'm thinking a couple of these. So yeah, let me spend some time getting this all sorted. And then we'll see where we stand afterwards, because this is going to be a bit of a transformation. There we go. What did I say about sp saving our money? Yeah, that didn't quite happen. I got a bit carried away. So yeah, we've got some manure and some water. The water we got from this. Ignore this. Yeah. Who knows what happened with, with this. It's like, oh, the terrain reform. Because I had it, sort of had it online. The next thing you know, it just goes boom. All the way back here. So... Yeah, I should have saved it before doing landscaping. So yeah, I've gone and put some greenhouses down. So if we have a look under our productions. So yeah, we've got two fruits. So we can get lemons, orange, pineapples, and apples. 
I also got two large greenhouses. And yeah, we get pumpkin for that. So yeah, we can get the juicer. I think, is that down here somewhere? Nope. Ah, oh, no, 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 it's under. I think you got place down the juicer and that. Let's see, where is it to? Actually, yeah, that's the one I was looking for to put down. Oh, well, we can save that one for Evergreen Valley or something down the road. So, where is it to? There we go. Juice Factory, 40 grand. All they used is a model uh, similar to uh, the Great Production, but not quite. But yeah, once you get some money, you can start whacking that down and... We've got space here and that, so... The trigger and that's for here, so I'm thinking... Somewhere like there and that. And we get juices and we get some profit from that. In terms of the ratios, I have no idea whatsoever. In terms of the greenhouse capacities, 10,000. How much does that fill up with? Oof, it's got 20,000 litres each for the large ones. What about for the fruits? Also, the fruit needs manure. I'm getting manure at the moment, we're purchasing manure. It's cheap at the moment. So I'll go and put that in. And yet yeah, again, about 20,000 litres, so we're going to need to do three more trips, so bear with me. So there we go, placing the last bit of the water. And yeah, I did try to be a bit clever and put some extensions in, but hasn't quite clearly worked. Like, yeah, 45,000 litres, actually, no, another 5,000 for this greenhouse here, I think it is. And then, yep, 25,000 litres and 25,000 litres respectively, so those ones ain't got an extra 5,000 litres. And yeah, we're going to be going through a lot of water. At least I'm glad the water is free. Because, yeah, which one was it? Obviously, once again, I'll put any mods I've used in the description down below. So it's not that one. Under containers. Oh, yeah, but it was part of the water pack. Again, can't remember who it's by, but yeah, it'll be all down in the description down below. And yeah, that I have not used. I've even had that downloaded because of playing on Miss uh multiplayer server. So I thought, yeah, why not use it? I like the American side of because I was going to about the whole bathing situation. I thought, I should know what? I've not done fermented silage like that in the silo for a while. So I thought screw it, let's do it here, do it now. Please don't take all 30,000 litres. So I take, oh dang it. So I'm going to need to do another trip. How much manure are they going to consume a month? Uh, I'll say not too bad. So far, a bit like thousands of these a month. So, Ooh, maybe I should scale back on greenhouses. But no, nope, let's leave it as it is. I'll purchase more manure. But yeah, we need more money now because we spent it all. So, lovely jubbly. So, we've got fertilizing contracts to do. And what else was it? Nope, all furs and contracts. And at the moment, our... Oh, yeah. Our... Oh, why are you shaking that? Oh, what's it? Our... Struggling for words today, but yeah, our spray has got lime in. Of course, this doesn't require much. This is super efficient. But still, we're going to get about... A thousand litres of it. Can a thousand years of furs would do those three big fields, or two big fields and 18. And that's not including what we need. 
But yeah, it's all to be determined. Cause I want to keep liming for now. Because yeah, I'm going to be expanding all the field boundaries. I'll expand that field over there across the road to as far as I think I can get away with it. But yeah, this has been a huge game changer. Like, seriously, we are rocking it. But yeah, that was all thanks to the wood chips. And honestly, from here on out, everything's going to be up. So we're going to do corn, we're going to do soybeans. What we're going to do on that third field, I've got no idea. Maybe oats and that, get an early oat harvest. And then we could do winter canola and that. But then again, that's going to put us onto a one crop at the year after. Sorghum, sorghum is profitable. Yeah. Root crops is an option, but they take ages to do. And the cost of borrowing equipment, which will be over August, so we can borrow equipment by then. Let's see, press the throw there. But yeah, to be honest, I'm not sure, so... I think before we wrap up for today, I'm going to do these fields extensions off camera. Shouldn't take us too long. Actually, what will take long is going to be the contracts, but... You know what? I don't mind doing those now. But yeah, I'll get it done. And yeah, I'm just hopefully we have enough money for everything in that because I am worried. So yeah, let me get it done. And I'll see you folks later on. And there we go. The fills are done. They have been extended. They haven't been fertilized or lined at all yet. Also, what we've got and done is all the contracts on 7, 5, and 18. 18 had a bit of a bud contract, so it was about 1420 was we meant to get. So I transferred 1400 quid over from the bank account of the local government, as so to speak. But yeah, so you can see where we extended, where it's marked in line, so yeah. Pretty much close the lanes a little bit. Still wide enough for a tractor or a combine officer and that, so. But yeah, we extend it all the way down here to the edges as far as we can without hitting any signs. That's why you see that little dip there. Then come back up. And yeah, we did the same around here. As far as we can to the boundary. Without hitting the limit. And then, yep. Simple flow down. And yeah, so. May not be the most beautiful shaped of fields. But yeah, so we're at two grand now, after all that. So let's go and complete these contracts. So yeah, what I've also got and done is just put a little cottage in. You know, could get some bits of wood in that. But yeah, it's not much. But for now, almonds compromise are living standards in a way. Yeah, all we got is just a bit of a log burner and that, and some old rusted stuff. But, that is for the greater good. We've upgraded from three small fields with a small farm to now. We've got three huge fields. And yeah, we're going to make a lot of money from that because I've been thinking. So yeah, we're going to do corn and soybeans. But I'm thinking if we can plant grass now, so in March 2 or... Something like that, actually, you know. Yeah, March 2 and that. Because I want to keep on progressing that the months ahead. So, yeah, in March 2, plant grass. That's going to take two months to grow. Cut that out in May. And then, funny enough, in May, we can do soybeans. Worst case scenario, we can do <coughs> in June and harvest in November, which overall only means really you can't do bar winter barley that but I'm not sure what we'll do for next year's crop and that but I'm thinking if you plant grass actually screw it we will have just about enough time let's get all these free fields planted grass get converted into silage 
Because, yeah, remember, the goal of the series is to dominate the map. So we need to buy every single plot of land. And, yeah, I think I can be a bit cheaty in that. And, you know, buy bits of forestry area. And I can guarantee you we can make all of our money from that and sell wood chips. But that is too easy. That is a, too, a way too easy route of doing wood chips. So, no more wood chips for the time being. Not for a while. So yeah, for our shopping this, we need a second tractor and a forge wagon. Because if we're going to do grass, we're going to need another 20 grand or so because have a look at forge wagons, at modded ones of course. We go with the class quantum 3800k. Only options is for the tires, but 35,000 liters. I'm thinking if all that, including bits over here, got us, what was it, 117,000 liters? We're going to make a ton of grass, and to be honest, I'm not sure what the capacity of this is. I know it'll process it at a rate of 60,000 liters a month. And yeah, we don't have anywhere to store it. I'm wondering. Can we store the grass at the train silos? Because if we can store them at the train silos, lovely, we're absolutely that thin and absolutely golden. And also, I'm thinking about getting sheep in and that, thinking, again, flatten this area out a bit more. If there's a bit of a rise over here to the field, like if there's like a little big uppy dip gap, and then you know what? That I can live with, to be honest. Because overall, it's going to be worth it in the long run, so... I think, yep, lovely good, so... Yep, get the workers on this. And then, yep, that's where I'll leave it today, so next time... We'll be planting the grass. And yep, I think it's going to be worth it. And if we get more contracts popping up, that'd be lovely. Because yeah, we've just done two furrows in contracts. And actually, what are the furrows and six of these fields? First applications, first application, so chances are we'll get a second application in. Do we have crops in the ground? Yes, they do. So I know that's potatoes. We're doing sunflowers getting up there. And uh, what's that? Same thing, potatoes, I think. Yeah, potatoes again, so. Oh, fine enough. Workers come down here, and so you know what? Actually, that I don't have an issue with. So, yeah, I am happy where we are. Happy where we're progressing, and we can even go up from here. So, that's where I leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for what you to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now. This is your former Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.